Hi everyone, my name is Kristen and welcome to the Wathi Regional Library Storytime. Today we are going to be reading books all about food. There's many different types of food. There's healthy food like fruits and veggies and there's unhealthy food like donuts and cupcakes. Let's start off with our welcome song. When I say clap, please clap. When I say stomp, stomp your feet. And when I say reach, reach up high. If you would like to read a book, clap your hands. If you would like to read a book, clap your hands. If you would like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you would like to read a book, clap your hands. If you would like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you would like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you would like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you would like to read a book, stomp your feet. If you would like to read a book, reach up high. If you would like to read a book, reach up high. If you would like to read a book, listen up and take a look. If you would like to read a book, reach up high. Great job. Now, before we dig into eating, we have to remember to wash our hands. Let's see how we do it. Tops and bottoms. Tops and bottoms in between, in between. Scrub them all together, scrub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Can we wash our hands again one more time? Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms in between, in between between. Scrub them all together. Scrub them all together. Now they're clean. Squeaky clean. Now that we have cleaned our hands, it's time to dig in. We are going to read this story called Who Eats Orange by Diane White and Robin Page with permission from Simon and Schuster Kids. Who eats orange? Bunnies in their hutches do. Chickens in the hen house too. Some orange foods are cantaloupe and carrots. Who else eats orange? Goats, pigs, gorillas too. Gorillas? No, gorillas don't eat orange. They eat green. There's a gorilla eating green. Who else eats green? Giraffes in savannas do. Zebras, all their stripes. Hippos, grunts too. Grunts? No, grunts don't eat green. They eat red. A grunt is a type of fish that eats red. Who else eats red? Whales in the Pacific, too. Octopuses. Turkeys, too. Turkeys? No. Turkeys don't eat red. They eat... Yellow! There is some yellow food, like corn. Who else eats yellow? 
raccoons in the fields do. Boxes, finches, quetzals too. Quetzals? No. Quetzals don't eat yellow. They eat purple. Who else eats purple? Toucans in the canopy too. There's two types of birds eating purple food. Butterflies. It's a butterfly and a purple flower. Bees. Reindeer too. Reindeer? No. Reindeer don't eat purple. They eat... What color do you think reindeers eat? Blue! Who else eats blue? Yellow, bellied, marmots too. Bears. There is like blueberries. Wax wings. Maybe you. Why, yes, I do. I eat blueberries. I eat a rainbow, just like you. Look at all the colors we have. Red and orange and yellow and green and blue and purple, some pink. Now it is time to stand up and move around a little bit. We're going to start off by patting our head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Next, we are going to rub our belly. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your belly? Rub your belly. Rub your belly. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your belly? Rub your belly. Great job. The next one we're going to do, we're going to stretch. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. One more. We are going to sit down. Well, hello, everybody. Can you sit on down? Sit on down. Sit on down. Well, hello, everybody. Can you sit on down? Sit right down because it's time for another story. This is a super fun story. It is called Alien Tomato and it is by Kristen Schroeder and the pictures are by Mette Engel. And we are reading this with permission from Page Street Kids. It's streaked through the sky on a perfect day in July and landed in the garden. Do you see all the food in the garden? There's some carrots and radishes and cauliflower and asparagus and peas. The veggies were curious about the newcomer. What is that? says the carrot. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it, says the broccoli. They shared their ideas. I think it looks like a tomato. Yeah, but it's different. Maybe it's an alien tomato. I know what it is, says the gopher. Everyone agreed. It was definitely an alien tomato. Oh, yes, it's an alien tomato. Of course it's an alien tomato. That's it, says all the veggies. It 
is definitely not an alien tomato, says the gopher. What do you think it is? But the veggies didn't know anything about alien tomatoes. Will it zap us with lasers? Don't make it angry. Is it dangerous? And the gopher says, don't be silly. It's harmless. They decided that a friendly approach to the alien tomato was best. How do you do? Hello, I'm Beverly. Pleased to meet you. My name is Reggie. It can't hear you, says the gopher. The alien tomato didn't respond. It probably doesn't speak our language. That's okay. Let's call her Allie. It can't talk because it's just a red ball, says the gopher. What do you think it is? A red ball? Or an alien tomato. They decided to throw Allie a welcome party. Nobody ever held a party for me, says the gopher, and treated her like an honored guest. A crown? Really? This is getting ridiculous. The veggies enjoyed spending time with Allie. They were all on their best behavior. Only the best for our alley, says the asparagus. Care for a spot of tea? These crumpets are divine. Enough is enough, says the gopher. It's not very happy. But then, strange things happened when the veggies slept. Allie turned up in the far corner of the garden, and her crown disappeared. What's wrong, Allie? Do you need more shade? More water? And the next morning, Allie was gone. Has anyone seen Allie? She's not with the corn or the beans. Oh, where could she be, says the gopher. Hmm. What did the gopher do? Everyone agreed. Allie must have gone back to her own planet. She wasn't acting like herself. You're right. She was probably homesick. Well, I guess we'll never know, says the sneaky gopher. They all missed her. Allie was a great friend. I wish we could have thrown her a going away party. I sure hope she comes back to visit. All the veggies are sad. Soon, life in the garden was back to normal. All the veggies are sleeping. And the alien tomato, Allie, go home. Until something streaked through the sky on a starry night in August. It's the alien tomato. Oh, there's the alien tomato and it kidnapped the gopher. I guess it really was an alien tomato after all, not just a red ball. Besides veggies, another delicious food is pizza. What is your favorite type of pizza? Tell me. Oh, that sounds pretty good. I like pepperoni pizza. Pizza is spelled P-I-Z-Z-A. There is a treat. That's good to eat, and pizza is its name. P I Z Z A. P I Z Z A. P I Z Z A. And pizza is its name. Oh, yum. I'm 
going to eat one. Mmm, that was so good. There is a treat that's good to eat, and pizza is its name. Uh-oh, I ate the pea, so now we have to clap. Clap, I said, said, a. I said, said, a. I said, said, a, and pizza is its name. Mmm, that other piece was really good. I think I should eat one more piece. Uh-oh, now that I ate one, two pieces, there's three pieces of pizza left. There is a treat that's good to eat, and pizza is its name. Said, said, a. Z, Z, A. Z, Z, A, and pizza is its name. Yum! It's time for one more slice. That pizza was so good. There is a treat that's good to eat, and pizza is its name. Z, A. Z, A. Z, A, and pizza is its name. Oh, yum. I'm going to eat one. There is a treat that's good to eat, and pizza is its name. Uh-oh. I ate one, two, three, four pieces of pizza. That's four. Now there is one piece left. One more piece. There is a treat that's good to eat, and pizza is its name. A. A. A and pizza is its name. Oh, yum. One more time, can you help me learn how to spell pizza? P, I, Z, Z, A. Great job. Maybe we should have pizza for supper tonight. We are now going to read a story about a boy named Teddy, and Teddy loves spaghetti. This is Teddy Spaghetti, written by Dottie and Victoria Frank, and the pictures are by Rene Andriani. Teddy loved a lot about his life, but he really loved three simple things. He loved his shiny cape because it made him feel big and strong. He loved his rain boots because when he wore them, Teddy could stomp through everything. But most of all, Teddy really, really, really loved spaghetti because, well, just because. He loved spaghetti so much he wanted to eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He would slurp it, twirl it, and gobble it up. He liked spaghetti with red sauce and meatballs, with white sauce and clams, and even with eggs and bacon. What's your favorite type of food? Teddy was a very happy boy, and today was very important. He was starting a new school, and as much as his shiny cape made him feel confident, he felt a teensy bit nervous. Good morning, Teddy. It's a big day, said his mom. Are you ready for a big breakfast? Can I have spaghetti? asked Teddy. Not today, my sweet boy, replied his mom. 
I think I'm feeling a little under the weather, said Teddy. You're going to be just fine, kiddo. I bet you'll have a new best friend by lunchtime. Teddy was not so sure. Mom, I don't feel so good. My elbow hurts. My leg hurts. I have a pain in my neck. My eyes are blurry. My tummy's sick. Maybe I have a fever. I might have appendicitis. I'm hot. I'm cold. My blood pressure's through the roof. Teddy really doesn't want to go to his new school. Teddy, you'll be just fine. Just be your wonderful self. Everyone will love you. Now hand over your cape and let's get moving, said Mom. Teddy didn't feel great about handing over his trusted cape, but he did it anyway. He grabbed his lunchbox and headed out the door. He said goodbye to his mom and walked slowly up to the front of the school. Welcome, Teddy, said his new teacher, Miss Basil. Are you ready to meet everyone? Ready as I'll ever be, Teddy said with a smile. Miss Basil gathered the kids around. All right, everyone. Can anyone tell us what they did over the summer? This little girl said, I finally learned how to ride a two-wheeler. I went to the beach. I got a baby sister. Teddy said slowly, I ate a lot of spaghetti. You must really like spaghetti. What's your name? asked the girl sitting next to him. I'm Theodore, but everyone calls me Teddy. I don't just really like spaghetti. I love it. Well, I'm Antonia, but everyone calls me Tony. And this is Petey. Teddy was relieved that he had met some friends he could sit with at lunch. The new friends found a table together. Petey looked at his lunch and said, A jelly sandwich. This meal is uninspired. Tony said, Baloney, baloney. Always with the baloney. <sighs> Teddy opened his container and smiled. The smell of spaghetti made him think of home in a good way. Then he heard a loud, booing voice. Teddy Spaghetti! It was Brian the Bully. Teddy forgot for a moment that he was the new kid and that Brian was much bigger than him. Hey, what did you call me? asked Teddy. Brian the bully spoke more slowly this time. I called you Teddy Spaghetti. Teddy felt his heart sink. He wasn't sure what to say next. But he didn't need to say anything because his new friends spoke up. Holy meatballs, that looks amazing. Cooked to perfection, al dente. That sauce looks scrumptious. Mamma mia. Teddy told everyone to help themselves. There's plenty to go around. Suddenly, it was quiet again. Teddy turned around to find Brian standing over him, but this time he didn't look quite so mean. Teddy thought for a moment. He looked up at Brian and smiled. Sure, you can call me Teddy Spaghetti because I like that name a lot. No, wait, I love that name almost as much as I love spaghetti. Everyone gathered around and enjoyed the spaghetti down to the last slurp, even Brian. That night, his mom said, Teddy, 
I'm so glad you had a good day. What do you want for lunch tomorrow? What do you think Teddy Spaghetti wants for lunch tomorrow? Teddy knew the answer right away. Spaghetti with extra forks. That way his friends could eat it. I'm so glad that Teddy made new friends at his school. It's time for our goodbye song. Follow along with the actions. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Reach your hands up high. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Wave and say goodbye. Thank you for coming to my story time.